The reason A. Sharon Monroe Johnson walks these halls hits home. Being able to read just unlocks a whole nother world. She witnessed that as a mom. One of her daughters had reading challenges in the second grade. We were able to move her to another school um, with a teacher who was trained in Orton Gillingham, which is just one of those words out there that's a approach to teaching literacy that's rooted in science. The results were undeniable. She went from a kindergarten level to on grade level during that second year. And so I saw kind of the power of that. Acheron was inspired to volunteer with the Winston-Salem based nonprofit Read, Write, Spell in 2016. It was kind of the perfect moment in my life because I wasn't working. I was a stay at home mom. And even though we volunteer kind of twice a week with the student, I was like, well, I have more time. I have all the hours that my daughter's in preschool. Let me see if they need help in the office. Just stacking shelves, you know, putting packets together. Her commitment was clear. I can help a child who struggled like my daughter did. And she was always willing to learn more. She went from tutor and volunteer to marketing and development director, then associate director. Her colleagues turned to her recently when the executive director left for a new opportunity. I stepped into the interim role with the thought that, hey, you know, they're going to find this new executive director that's going to come in and I'm just going to hold it together until that happens. Turns out they already had what they needed. We all disagreed that it was kind of the natural next step. As the new executive director, A. Sharon is excited to set bigger goals. Realistically, we knew that there's going to be more of a demand for tutors. And serve more children. That opportunity has come in the past couple of weeks to uh, really partner with Project Impact and Winston-Salem Forsyth County Schools through a program called Reading Warriors, which we have a goal for the 2021-2022 school year of recruiting 800 volunteers to serve 1,200 students in schools. Accomplishing that means relying on and encouraging the talent around her. It being such a difficult time already and so much uncertainty, I just wanted the staff to know that together, because we've all been working together, that together we really can push this organization forward.